It's time for London Marathon 2012. And viewers, as you can see, near the starting point, the spirit is huge. The British public has come out to support the airlight athletes, to support the amateur athletes who are actually running for charity. Yes, the spirit is high. The weather is good. And as we talk, let's say we are very optimistic, optimistic that the Kenyan team will come out shining yet again. Who are we hoping to win? Martin Leo and Nakip Lagat, uh, Mary Ketani. Who is going? to take the London Marathon 2012 so let's wait and see as we go to the finish line and see who is coming out shining London Marathon 2012 We met with Henry Ocheng, uh, one of the mini marathon runner and of course Olympic torch bearer. Very proud of you Henry. Tell us about your experience of running the mini marathon today. Uh, it was very tiring, especially the last few miles to go. And so it was a very good opportunity for me, especially for what I'm going through in the Olympics now. So it was very good, yeah. Tell us about today. I mean, the weather was good, but what about the competition itself? Competition was hard, especially from different people around Britain. It was very tough for me and other people as well, yeah. You finished, right? Yeah. So what gave you, you know, the courage to move all the way to the finish line? Just the determination to finish and if I start something, I finish it, yeah. What is your advice to young people today about getting involved with the marathon? You never give up and try your best at all times, yeah. Of course, I'm so excited we've met with Councillor Elizabeth, who is marshalling the uh, mini marathon and of course for, for Buckingham Dagenham team as well. So tell us first and foremost, how did the mini marathon go? Well, this was quite exciting for the youngsters. I came in very early in the morning. I had to be here at 6.30. And obviously, the, the, the young boys and girls were quite excited. I was manning the under 17, and they did quite well. Most of them excited to have finished the three kilometers, which is quite an achievement for them. And obviously, they got the medals. Then after that, I'm here cheering my Kenyan team. And I'm so excited with the girls. I've just witnessed the girls winning. One, two, three, four, which was beautiful. So it's exciting. The weather is beautiful. Everything looks great. Is what we've seen today what we should expect for the Olympics? What kind of support are we looking for the Kenyan team for the Olympics? Oh yes, I'm just calling out upon all the Kenyans. We are so happy that the, the marathon is going to be in London where we are and we've got so many Kenyans. So my call is up to all the Kenyans to come out and support them. They've shown that they're they are doing it and exactly that is what we expect in the Olympics. And because we are here, come out in great numbers. Let's support them. They need us. They need our support. We need to come out and cheer them. Kenyans we are expecting you to win the marathon in the Olympics. This is your game, you can't be beaten. You must 
must be very proud right now. Very, 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 very proud and very happy. I'm not proud, but very happy. Uh, very happy? <laughs> yes. No, of course, we need to be proud of our Kenyan team. Of but what are you asking are, now? Of course, I'm proud of the Kenyan team. I'm proud of the way they have performed is marvelous, and they have done us a lot of proud. So I'm happy. What we haven't seen here today is a lot of Kenyan people coming out to support the team. What would be your message to Kenyans in London? In London, my message to Kenyans in London is to turn out again in great numbers to come and support the Kenyan team during the Olympic Games. That's my message. And I'm happy with the turnout here. That's uh, to show that Kenyans are really serious to support our team when we come here. <laughs> Kenya yetu hakuna matata Kenya nzuri hakuna matata Inchi ya kupendeza hakuna matata Kenya hey! Hey! This, this is uh, like we call a stepping stone towards Olympics So the results come good and then we are hoping to come back for Olympics What are we waiting for in terms of or what should we wait for in terms of the Kenya team Olympic team you know, like now for the women, we want to win a medal for the first time. And then for men, we need to tibet our title. That is what we're looking forward, yeah. Yes, I mean, what kind of support do you want from Kenya in the diaspora, in London especially, for the Olympics? Uh, we need uh, moral support, we need prayers, and a uh, cheering squad. Yeah, a bigger cheering squad. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, th I think, you know, we should bring more souvenirs, you know, like for, from Kenya, you know, flags and everything like that, you know, and make Kenya proud for the running. Today the results were marvelous. You know, we loved to see the Kenya team, the Kenya name going out there in big time. So what kind of support or what, what would you have wanted to see? Because you've got a lot of Kenyans in the diaspora or in London to say the least. What would you have wanted to see at the finish line? Now I think I saw. I think I saw what I would have liked to see. Because with the girls coming number one, two, three, up to five. That is great. And you know, Kenya used to be weak, uh, quite strong in the men, but weak in the girls. Mm -hmm. But now it appears like the, the, the tables have been turned. Yes. That the girls are now stronger than them because you can see the men were one and two. And then the uh, Ethiopian came in, in between. But the girls, one, two, th the only we had five girls. And all of them followed each other, one, two, five. Okay. So really, I cried in the tears of joy. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I would have wanted to see anything different from that. And then the way you Kenyans in the diaspora, the way you came out uh, supporting, is marvelous, really. And with that kind of support, wherever we go, we, we feel that we, in fact, we owe you and duty. The kind of support you give us, we feel that uh, we, we just have to perform, you know, to reciprocate the kind of uh, support you are giving us. So I think, uh, to me, I didn't see anything that I shouldn't have seen. I, I was, I'm very happy with everything I saw, the, the running, the support from the diaspora, and uh, the support from the Federation. It was just perfect. Yes. And with that kind of scenario, you can't get it wrong.